Well, people across Ukraine waking up again to uh, artillery coming in from the sky. In the capital city of Kyiv, we are hearing reports now of some heavy explosions. Maria Shuvalova is a lecturer with the National University of Kyiv. She is outside of the capital city right now. Maria, um, tell me what you're hearing. So I just wake, I just woke out out of my basement, and we had sirens. So when I'm in my basement, sirens are so loud that I just unable to hear something. So I have to when I woke when I waking walking up out the basement. Each time I have to Google what is happening outside, but I'm pretty sure that I won't found right now anything because we stopped sharing pictures from or in information about recent explosions because Russians use that against us. So for example, when Russians trying to bomb a house and this house wasn't bombed and a person shared uh, this information in social media, like, thanks God, my house wasn't bombed. They are using this information to repeat, to repeat the attack and to do it more precise. Also, just a few hours ago, I were chatting with my friends and they noticed that one person, my friends are in ivano frankivsk and they noticed that the same person is reaching different Ukrainians in ivano frankivsk trying to figure out information about recent explosions and doing some mistakes that Ukrainians are not doing. And probably Russians are trying to figure as much information as possible about recent places of attacks and use it against Ukrainians. So actually I heard just loud sounds and I have no idea what happened, but probably in a few hours we will figure it out. How do you know when it's safe to exit? Uh, we have special mobile app that is signaling us that it's safe now to walk out and also when the sirens stop stop screaming and usually it takes one hour to spend in your basement so we also so we are have three rules of how to know when you should leave the basement mobile app siren and at least you have to stay on the basement for one hour mm. Maria, I have been impressed day after day with the resilience from the Ukrainian people, but I have to imagine you in a basement right now in the pitch dark hearing the sirens above, you must be scared. No, I'm not scared. We definitely used to that and I have my schedule well where I, when I will sleep, not to stay sleep deprived and can't keep working because we definitely understand that it's an aim of Russian troops and we have to just think and act properly because we are determined to win and to finish this war and to get back our life. And today, my, the car of my friend was attacked by anti-missile bomb, by, by anti-missile rocket. Uh, three people died there and friend, mom of my friend also died. But anyway, we kept working and there was good news today. We managed to fundraise $10,000 for bulletproof fests. So that was mm. some info about today's day. Wow. Here. Well, uh, call me impressed once again then, Maria, uh, that you're able to, to, to keep your wits about you in such a dangerous situation. I know the bulletproof vest, your brother was needing one. Have you been in touch with him on the front lines? Yes, I was talking with him. He's having high spirits, so that is why I'm in my basement having also a strong belief that everything will be okay because our soldiers are having such a high spirit. But we are expecting this last to come in a few days. Mm. And why do you have that optimism? Uh, why we are having, because we are winning against the largest country and they are absolutely unable to deal with Ukrainians. So we just have experience of dealing with them, even farmers and ordinary people. And you might have seen these rallies when people without armors are stopping tanks. So we just have so huge experience of dealing with Russians. They try and occupy us for many times, for many years, but each time we have our independence, we preserve our language. So our history, we are dealing with Russians more than 300 years, and each time we're still alive and we keep being ourselves. Mm. We see you, we hear you. Maria, be safe, uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.